Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. I think that's what that is. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you... Oh. So, yeah. Check it out, guys. So, I know you're having problems with your power steering here. I'm over here bragging about my power steering. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of talk about how to fix this problem. Um, whenever I had this problem where my power steering locked up, uh, there was a sort of a message saying power steering, uh, what was it, a failure or something to that nature failure and then there was something else later on um or malfunction or some, something like that it was a, it was a you know wrench whatever and my power steering um worked on the right but it was really loose on the right and on the left it was kind of hard right so um i drove it the next day it was it, it when i started it up it didn't work at all the power steering was done it was done turn it up turn it off turn it back on and the power steering was back but it's still kind of crappy uh, finally, after using it two, three days later, uh, power steering would not turn on anymore, and it would say uh, power steering malfunction. Anyways, I was able to kind of um, look into the, the what do you call it? I don't know what you call it, man. Let me see if I can find my module here. Um, I don't think I have my, my little module here. Anyways, I was able to look ahead and log in with my LBD2 scanner, um, and it's the one that has the I'll post it in the link in the link or whatever uh, what the tool is. Um, I connected to my laptop and I'm able to see what the diagnostics is by using Forescan. Forescan is a free uh, free software that uh, kind of reads your Ford, um, but we'll get more into that in, in a little bit. I want to show you exactly uh, the hardware that actually went bad, so stand by. All right, so it's a little windy here, um, but I'm going to show you here. Let's see. It's gonna be down here, um, and it's the rack and pinion that pretty much, not the whole rack and pinion, but it's the module that, that does the, the rack and pinion. Uh, and of course I have the little shield here. So before you get here, you're gonna have to remove the, the bottom shield here. Uh, there's there are four bolts. Um, I think they were like size 16 or something like that. Uh, what you're gonna also have to remove is this big bolt right here, right in front. And then there's another big bolt right here, right? Uh, also, you'll see, you want to see if I can get in here real quick. Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, I can't find it. Let me go to the side here. Sorry for the shaking, these guys. Very unprepared video, but still wanted to go through this here. Um, in order to get this rack and pinion out, we're going to need to. Uh, Pop off this uh, from the knuckle here. Pop this off from the knuckle. Pop it up. Um, you're gonna have to loosen this up. Turn it. Um, you're gonna have to turn the, the tie rod uh, as many times as it comes out. Just remember that number because when you put it back in, you're gonna have to put the same amount of numbers as threads as well. So that's the new uh, tie rod. I mean, uh, not tie rod. Rack and pin in there. It's very hard to see there, um, but there is two bolts holding the, the rack and pinion uh, aside from those two uh, body bolts there. So, and there's also, uh, what is it, like two connectors as well holding it. Uh, one's for the power, the one's for the data or something like that. I can't really get in here, guys. I should have done this video a long time ago. Um, but yeah, so you're, let me get back up here because I'm so fat. <laughs> Whoa. So, oh, the last one too is the steering column itself. So let me see if I can zoom in here. There's that bolt. Let me see where my fingers at. You see my fingers at right there? Yeah. So that bolt needs to come apart. Um, that will allow you to loosen up the from the steering column itself. Uh, it's it's kind of easy. Uh, the best your best bet is to just have a uh, the penetrating blaster or the penetrating uh, oil, just to kind of loosen up those bolts. Um, and like I said, you're just gonna have to remove the from the knuckle itself. Um, I went ahead and used a hammer, a kind of like a uh, what do you call it? Let's see here. Let me show you here. I used a I don't have this not this hammer, but it's a bigger one. Uh, yeah, I don't have it. Um, 
Man, I'm so unprepared for this video. Anyways, um, yeah, so it took me a while to figure this out, and I was trying to kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure it out, <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, and I thought it was, you know, a module here or there or whatever, but uh, I went ahead and replaced it. Um, the part cost me about a thousand dollars, only because I, it was a core for it. So once I sent the core back, the, my original one, uh, it came out to three hundred dollars less, or two fifty for shipping. Um, so you can try to buy one on eBay. I've tried to buy one on eBay. Um, the only problem is sometimes they'll say uh, it's broken and we can't ship you a new one out, blah blah blah, or use one. Um, also, the other, the other problem too is there's kind of like no warranty. Um, I, I got mine from rockauto.com. Um, the hardest part was trying to find out which one there is because there's like five different um, rack and pinions. Uh, depends if you have the, the towing capacity, max towing, heavy duty towing. Uh, depends if you have uh, hydraulic or ele electric. This one's electric. Electric. It's an E-PASS. Um, and what else, what else, what else? Oh, and the last thing too is you're gonna need Forescan because Forescan actually allows you to go into the system and re kind of calibrate the, 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 it's called the, the code, something code. Um, some, like if you look, if you find, if you try to look for those, that specific part, uh, it's gonna say, hey, uh, reflashing is required, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not really a big deal. It's, I, I paid for the, the full uh, software for Forescan it was ten dollars for the whole year, so ten dollars for me is, is pretty good. All I gotta do is go in there, look for the module for the e pass, uh, the PAS, and then just copy my old my old uh, module. So you're gonna go in there beforehand, uh, then go ahead and uh, you know switch your part off, put the new the new uh, the new rack and pinion connected, and then you might have a separate number, a separate uh, strategy number or something like that. Uh, I forgot what it's called. But you just need to change it to what your original one was to kind of match uh, their settings for that truck. Now, once you got that up, I mean, that literally takes not even two minutes to do that. So I do know that the dealership costs us about two grand to do all this. Um, overall, <laughs> overall, if you're, if you're going to do this from scratch, um, you're going to pay about eight or nine hundred bucks for the, for the part itself. You're going to pay probably about 15 bucks for the cable and the little module to to go to the truck and then you're gonna pay about another ten dollars for the the software itself um, that's still well under you know twelve hundred dollars uh, actually it's well under eleven hundred dollars so um, I would advise you know to kind of if, if like this truck's out of this is 2013 you know we're in 2021 right now so <laughs> I don't want to pay no two grand out two thousand dollars to the dealership so I would advise you maybe it's a, it's if you're mechanically inclined uh, it's not that hard uh, you're just gonna need to, uh, to know how to uh, maneuver in there uh, I went ahead and propped it up with two, with the two jacks jack stands and I had a little bit of help from my wife but I mean other than that not really uh, it's pretty it took me about mm, maybe four or five hours to do everything uh, only because it's, it's the maneuvering part is a little bit complicated but other than that uh, I want to leave you to that if y'all have any questions or whatever I'm very active in my YouTube YouTube channel so let me know if y'all need help. Um, once again, I, I'm not trying. This wasn't a very uh, thought-out video, but I wanted to kind of help somebody out to because this is something that, that this really sucks. All right, guys. Till next time. See y'all later. Peace out.